All right, welcome back, folks. I was at the range today shooting on the LCPs, and I just thought I'd give you a quick breakdown of how I clean my LCP2 and LCP Max. I do them both the same way, just so you can see how I've had this thing uh, sustain 10,000 rounds of shooting it as fast as I could shoot it pretty much uh, over this past year or two. So first things first, what are the tools I use? Brass brush, you can get these anywhere. Nylon gun cleaning brush with the small bristles, large bristles. These are available at Walmart or Dick's Sporting Goods Academy, any of those places. The gun cleaning specific Q-tips. I use these a lot. I'll dip them in a little isopropyl alcohol and, and clean out any hard to reach places. And these are these are really good. This too is specific um, and hard to find, but you can get it from Wilson Combat, and I think it's made by Calbico.com, at least that's what it says. It's not a Wilson Combat part, but it is available on their website, and this is for cleaning the grooves in the slide, and this is a really, really helpful tool that I like a lot. I will use a little piece of safety wire sometimes. you got to be careful with this. It can scratch things. Flathead screwdriver. And on my 9 millimeters and 38s, I use this little uh, bore cleaning brush that I got from Wilson Combat, which is really good as well. And I'm going to lubricate this mainly with this Lucas Extreme Duty gun oil, some Ballastol. So first things first, I'm going to pull the magazine out of this thing, make sure it's not loaded. And then I'm going to take a little piece of blue painter's tape because I am very particular about keeping my guns in good condition. And that's gonna help prevent scratching the slide. Whoops, when I remove this little pin. So I pull that pin out, pull my slide off. Now, full disclosure, I have already taken this apart and cleaned it a little bit before I decided to make this video. So it's not gonna be as dirty as it normally would be if I had shot 300 rounds at the range like I did today. So once I get to this point, what I generally do is spray the barrel down really good with Ballastol and let it soak for a little while. And sometimes I will spray the, the spring and the, the pin as well. I don't ever really heavily lubricate the frame and I don't heavily lubricate the slide with anything like that. Now, while those are soaking, I generally go and clean the slide out. And how I do that is I will take a paper towel and take, fold it in half and take this channel cleaning tool and just go through the channels of the slide until I'm getting nothing on that paper towel. And sometimes if, if the gun is dirty, you may have to do this several times before you can get it to be fully clean. But as you see, I've already gone through mine a couple of times and it's looking pretty good. Then I'll just take a paper towel and go in there and clean the slide up really well, get all the debris off of the slide, anything that's going on in there, clean that up good. And what I've found with this gun is that the face of the firing pin right here will get some junk in it. And that's where I come in with the brass brush and I tend to Clean that a little bit, wipe it off. May have to come back in there, make sure you're getting it all clean, make sure there's no debris stuck in any crevices. And I found that pushing the firing pin out with this gun and making sure there's nothing that's obstructing that firing pin movement is, is pretty critical. And hopefully we can see right there how you can just push that little firing pin out with your finger and it comes out of its little hole, and then you can clean right around there. But that, that area is pretty critical for having this firearm work well. Now that I've got the side cleaned up, what I generally do at this point is take a little bit of this gun oil. And these are techniques, this is not stuff I came up with, first of all. These are techniques that I've picked up from four or five different entities over the years or online uh hickok 45 i think i got a couple of tips from him online some of the wilson combat guys some of my from stuff my uncle taught me years ago so it's just things i've learned over the years and i'm, I'm not an authority on this but it's just what's worked for me so i'll take this little applicator these are really really nice because it's got this this very fine tip 
and I'll put just a little bit of oil just enough to run down the side and I will set the side on its end and allow that oil to just slide down the slide like a little kid at the playground then once I'm I'm done with the side I will take the frame and clean that up real good and I'll do the same thing with the channel cleaning tool on the frame as I did with the side where I will get in these crevices and clean those guys out until I'm not seeing any residue left over from the day of shooting in those side channels. Now in this gun in particular, you kind of have to really get down in here with the Q-tips dip those in alcohol and get into these crevices that are inside here and get all of the waxy residue left over from your ammunition um, and right around that trigger ball right there you'll find some as well and so once you get your frame cleaned up really good i don't use any harsh salt solvents just a little bit of that isopropyl alcohol but i try to get it as clean as i can then we're on to the barrel. It's been soaking for a little while at this point usually. So what I'll do is just take the old boar snake, just a 22 boar snake, drop it down through there, run it through the barrel, check it out. It looks pretty clean. If it needs to go one more time, I'll do it one more time. But I rarely do it more than once, to be honest. And then I'll clean that feeding ramp really good with my paper towel and make sure the face of that is nice and clean because that's a critical area for functioning on this firearm and i'll just in general clean the barrel up because it kind of needs it usually and that's looking pretty good clean my spring off really good and then what i like to do is just take a little bit of ballistol and reapply this can of ballistol is almost out. Reapply some ballistol to the outside of this barrel after I clean it, and I will put just a little bit on the spring. I don't usually spray the spring down heavily because I don't want it to gather debris. I'll just kind of wipe it with my hand right quick. Now, normally I would let this side, or I'm sorry, this barrel sit here for a good long while and let that ballistol do what it does because if you've never used ballistol, it kind of leaves, almost feels like a Teflon coating on metals. Though if it sits on them for a little while, it, like it, it slicks them up. I don't really know what it does, but it doesn't necessarily leave a residue. But it, it makes them really smooth and slick. So I would normally let that sit for a while and just address any issues. Now again... With this LCP2, what I've found is that with the extractor right here, you'll get a little dirt back behind there sometimes. And I occasionally get some dirt in this pinhole. And that's what I use my little piece of wire for is to get that out and, and on the face of the firing pin right there. Sometimes I have to clean a little bit of that out. Sometimes you can get it with the brush, but it, it looks pretty clean today. So after just sitting for, I don't know what, two minutes here, three minutes, that lubrication has run down the side and so it's it's fully lubricated itself at this point now i will take the frame and there's a couple of spots of wear that you can see on this gun from all of my shooting and i'll tend to dab just a little bit of extra oil basically on the end of the side these two points these two points now when i take this apart and do a thorough cleaning i, I lubricate the hammer area up but I, i've done that relatively recently so i'm not going to do it again so now that i've got that lubrication in the critical areas the frame is clean the side is clean i'm going to put it back together i've got a little bit of lubrication on my spring i don't know how i put it in there first uh, a little bit of lubrication on the barrel but not much Get that guy in there just like that. Put 
put that right back together. Now, before I put my pin in, I always like to just wipe it off one more time. Get everything lined up just right. Put that pin in. Work the slide a little bit. And then we're pretty much ready to go. Now, I'll put an extra dab of oil right there. And a little bit right there. And a little bit right there. But just a touch. Just a touch. Work the side a little bit. And that's all I do. Then after I'm done with all that, I'll go back, wipe off any excess that I see that may catch dirt, especially around the back of the side right there. It tends to weep out a little bit. Work it a few more times. See if I need to wipe a little bit off again. And that's pretty much it. That's the, all I do with my LCPs to keep them in running order. You may do something different. Again, I'm not the end of the authority line on this. I just do what I do, and this has worked for me, and this gun has got almost 10,000 rounds through it at this point, and it shows very little wear. I do the same thing with my LCP Max. I may give it just a touch more lubrication in a couple of spots, especially on the barrel, um, towards the end of the barrel, but that's really the only difference that I give the Max from the lcp2 so thanks for joining me i hope that was helpful and we'll see you again soon with some new gun reviews so stay tuned we'll see you at the range